Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game from the Levon Aronian and John Ludwig Hemmer that was played in Norway Chess Tournament in 2013. Aronian had white pieces and he started with d4. Hemmer played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, and Hemmer played d5, Grunfeld defense, knight to f3. Bishop to g7, pawn takes pawn on d5, knight takes on d5, e4 attacking the knight, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, c5 attacking white center, rook to b1, very popular move in this position, black castle kingside, bishop to e2, pawn takes pawn on d4, pawn takes pawn, win to a5 check and white has to make a choice bishop to d2 or queen to d2 if queen to d2 then queen takes queen bishop takes queen and we are in the end game aronian wants to keep queens on the board and he played bishop to d2, sacrificing the pawn on a2. White castle the king's side. It is black to move, and black has many different moves in this position, like b6, a5, knight to d7, queen to e6, bishop to d7, knight to a6, a6, knight to c6 and bishop to g4 this is black's most popular move and the move played in our game rook takes pawn on b7 knight to c6 bishop takes on f3 has been seen quite often in grandmasters games then Bishop takes bishop. Bishop takes pawn on d4. And black looks okay. But in the game we have knight to c6. d5. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop. As you can see in this variation, black doesn't win the pawn on d4. Knight to d4 was played. Rook takes pawn on e7, creating dangerous pass pawn. Bishop to e3 looks like a good alternative move. We have rook takes on e7. a5. Perhaps knight takes on f3 should have been considered. And then after pawn takes knight, a5. In the game we have a5, d6, a4, e5. Protecting the pawn on d6 and blocking black's dark square bishop. Knight takes on f3. Pawn takes knight. Queen to b2, freeing the path for the a pawn and also Queen and bishop are now targeting the pawn on e5. Bishop to e3 and Hema played a3. If bishop takes on e5, then queen to d5. And after bishop to g7, rook takes pawn on f7. Rook takes rook. Queen takes on a8. And white is winning. So in the game we have a3, queen to d5, and black played rook from a to e8. Perhaps rook from a to b8 would be better, but we have a rook from a to e8. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook, 
d7. Rook to d8. It is white move. White played the move and black resigned. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the winning move that white played. Ready? What did you find? White has two winning moves in this position. Aronian played bishop to g5 and Hema resigned. If rook takes pawn, queen takes rook. Another winning move in this position is e6. And then pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn check, king to h8, check, rook takes queen, pawn takes rook promoting the pawn to queen. But after e6, black can play bishop to f6. And then you would have this very lovely continuation. Bishop to d4. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. And then e7 is winning. But bishop to g5 was Aronian's choice. Interesting game, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.